Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about shopping and more specifically how I stopped over shopping. I get this question all the time so I figured I'd make a dedicated video about it. So let's just hop right in. Step one is to ask yourself why you're shopping. So I've shared about this a little bit in previous videos, but I used to shop a lot, like almost every single day. I got my first credit card when I was 19, soon after my mom passed away, and I got in this habit of compulsively shopping. And now looking back, I can realize that I was doing that to try to soothe the pain of losing my mom, but obviously I wasn't. I wasn't dealing with any of the issues. I was just spending money that I didn't have on things that I didn't need. But when you do things often enough, they'll become habit. So that habit of shopping all the time when I was bored or when I was sad became something that I did and I continued to do until a couple years ago. But the stuff never really made me happy. It just made me want more stuff. When you go out and shop, ask yourself why you're doing it. Are you really buying something that you need or are you just trying to fill a void that you have? When you shop, use a list and stick to it. When you shop, be really diligent about sticking to a list so that when you go into a store, you're not distracted or tempted by things that catch your eye. Before you leave the house, take stock of everything you have so that you're not buying multiples of the same items. This is major for me because I used to always buy Bath and Body products, like whenever I would go to Target, I would buy soap and, you know, shampoo and this gel that promised to make my curly hair better looking and whatever. And I would never end up, like, actually going through all of my product and that's really wasteful and also a huge waste of money. So now I keep a list on my phone at all times of what I actually need and I only buy the things that are on my list. If it's hard for you to stick to your list when you're in a store, maybe consider buying your stuff online like on Amazon or Thrive Market or Vitacost because then you can just type in exactly what you need, put it in your cart and not get distracted by the other stuff. So I always have a list on my phone of things that I need to get from the grocery store, but then I also have a separate list of things that I need slash might want from places like the flea market. So if you guys have been around here really for any period of time, you've probably realized that I love going to the flea market. I go usually every month, sometimes I skip, but I'm not going to the flea market and just going wild and buying a bunch of vintage stuff. I am very particular now about what I buy and if I see something that I like that isn't on my flea market maybe wish list, I ask myself several questions. How long will I wear and love this? Is this more of a trendy piece that I'll probably get sick of or is it something that I can see myself keeping for a long period of time? Do I have something similar to this at home already? Do I really need another vintage woven basket? No, I don't. Will this work with my current wardrobe and accessories that I have or will I not be able to get a lot of use out of it? I also practice the one in, one out rule. So that means if I do end up buying this beautiful treasure that I found at the flea market, say it's a bag, I will go home and look at my bags and decide which bag I no longer wear or maybe don't wear as often that I could then either sell or donate to make room for my new bag. And this is a system that's been working for me recently because I'm able to get new things in, but then I'm also not just hoarding a bunch of stuff. I'm able to sell it or donate it. Don't use credit cards. In the interest of full disclosure, Nick and I do have a credit card that we use. We use it for groceries and gas, but we pay it off at the end of the month because we've budgeted the amount that we're gonna spend on it per month, and we're sticklers about this. This is worth it for us because we're able to get airline points by buying gas and groceries on our credit card, but when we pay it off at the end of each month, we're not paying interest. So we're able to get cheaper deals on travel without having to pay extra for interest. But this, as you can imagine, isn't how I treated my credit card that I got when I was 19. I thought of it more as a gift card that I could use anywhere, which is embarrassing to say, but it is what it is. I definitely abused it and because of that, I racked up some debt on it. If you're trying to shop less and get out of debt and maybe save some of your money, using a cash system instead of credit cards is a great option. 
I'm a big fan of the Dave Ramsey system of getting out of debt, but I'm definitely more of a fan of his daughter. I feel like I can relate to her a lot more. Her name's Rachel Cruz. And when I first started looking into ways to get out of debt and shop less and be smarter with my money, I watched a lot of her YouTube videos and they were really helpful for me. So I'll definitely link those in the description so you guys can check them out if you're interested. One of the most helpful and important things that Rachel talks about when it comes to being smarter with your money and getting out of debt is telling your money where to go. So this means you're going to have to be doing a weekly or monthly budget. I'm honestly not perfect with this system, but it's been really helpful for me to really think about what my money needs to be doing for me instead of what I can be buying with my money, if that makes sense. And just a side note, my little sister, Taylor, started this system after she graduated college and paid off all of her student loans in a year. So it's possible if you really are diligent and stick to the program. The idea of budgeting might sound boring to some of you guys, but honestly, it's helped me and Nick to be able to do so much more than what we were able to do before. We're able to travel often because we put money aside with every paycheck to do so. And eating healthy food that's fresh is a really big priority for us, and we're honestly able to eat that way because we make it a priority in our budget monthly. So the way I look at it now is that budgeting isn't about restricting myself. It's about putting my money towards the areas in my life that really fulfill me and not just buying things because I'm bored or buying things to get the thrill of buying them. Make other goals for yourself and find other hobbies that aren't shopping. When I first quit shopping or started shopping with more intention, it was hard. I mean, it was a habit that I'd had for a lot of years and anytime you change a habit, it's hard and it's not fun, but it gets easier with time and that's just life. So now instead of shopping and browsing online, I work on my YouTube channel or brainstorm different creative ideas or projects I can work on. I'll look up a new recipe to try. I'll find a new podcast and maybe go on a walk around the block listening to said podcast. So these things are not only fun, they're all free and they have the potential to improve my life. So I did also get some questions about shopping on Instagram, so I'm gonna go ahead and answer those now. How did you manage to not buy anything during your first capsule, although you knew at the time that it wasn't perfect and although you still had some items in mind? I was able to stop buying when it was time to stop buying in that first capsule because at that time, I really had it in my head that this was an experiment for me to learn how to be happy with what I had. I didn't have every piece that maybe I wanted, but at the time, and even still now, but I'm talking about that capsule in particular, I felt so much better and so much lighter after I got rid of all the clothes that I didn't love and that I didn't wear that I was just happy and I wasn't really thinking about the imperfections of my capsule. Because honestly, my capsules are never perfect. There's always something, but whatever. I'm human and I'm not perfect and I feel like that's not what it's about for me. Also, having a budget helped me because my paycheck wasn't just sitting in my wallet waiting for me to spend it on whatever I decided to. I had it either in savings or it was budgeted for food or it was budgeted for travel or gas money or student loan debt, you know? So it was easy for me to not spend money because in reality, I didn't have money to spend. I wasn't gonna take my travel money out of my savings to spend on a t-shirt when I knew I was doing this experiment to be happy with what I had. That's what I focused on. How has having a capsule wardrobe affected your perspective in other aspects of your life? Honestly, having a capsule wardrobe has changed so much for the better in my life. I am more appreciative about the things that I have and I feel like I take better care of the things that I have. I've really dived deep into the world of sustainable fashion and I've even been inspired to make some of my own clothes. Outside of the world of fashion, I've adopted the mindset that less is more and this has helped me to really feel free to travel and get joy from experiences, even like simple everyday experiences over things. I still have a lot of stuff, don't get me wrong, especially compared to other minimalists, but remember, it's not good to compare yourself to strangers on the internet because we're all different, we all have different journeys that we're on, and the most important thing is that you're content with your stuff and what you're doing. 
so that's all I have for you guys today. I hope this video was helpful. I love when you guys leave comments about things that I talk about in my videos. So if you have any suggestions that you think would be helpful to other people struggling with shopping too much, please leave them in the description so that we can all learn from each other because that's really what this is all about. So thank you in advance for leaving a comment and be sure you're subscribed to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.